Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about tuples in Python. Now, a tuple is a type of data structure, which basically means it's a container where we can store different values. Now, if you're familiar with lists in Python, a tuple is actually very similar to a list. It's basically a structure where we can store multiple pieces of information. But a tuple has a few key differences from lists that we're going to talk about in this tutorial. First thing I want to do is I want to show you though how to create a tuple. So I can come down here and I can create a tuple. And one of the most uh, common examples of tuples is coordinates. So let's say I had a series of like x, y coordinates. I could create a variable called coordinates and I'm just going to set this equal to an open and close parentheses. And whenever we want to create a tuple inside of Python, we're going to use these open and closed parentheses. And inside of here, inside of these parentheses, we're going to put the values that we want to store. So I could, for example, put a list of numbers. So this could be like my coordinates. I could have like four and five. So this would be my tuple with coordinates inside of it. And one of the things about tuples that makes them unique is a tuple is immutable. And you'll hear that word a lot when we're talking about tuples, immutable. It basically means that the tuple can't be changed or modified. Once we create our tuple up here, you cannot modify it, you cannot change it, you can't add elements to it, you can't erase elements from it, you can't change any of the elements inside the tuple. What you see is what you get. Once you create the tuple, it's, it's as it is, it can't change. So I could come down here and I could print out some of the attributes inside the tuple. And the way I can access them is just by using an open and closed square bracket. And in here, I can pass in a index. So tuples are indexed starting at zero. So technically, we would say that four is at index position one and or sorry, four is at index position zero and five is at index position one. So if I said coordinate zero, now it should print out four. And down here, we're printing out four. So if I wanted to print out that five, we can just put a one inside of those square brackets. And now we'll print out that five. So I can access the elements inside of a tuple. I can easily access each, each entry. But if I was to come over here and try to change one of the elements. So if I said coordinates and coordinates one, and I tried to set it equal to something else like 10, Python's actually going to give us an error when we run this program. So I'm going to run the program. You see, we get this error. It says type error tuple object does not support item assignment because it's immutable because we can't change it. So that's basically what tuples are, how we can create them. And, you know, a tuple, like I said, it's very simple. You just create it and then you have it. Um, and now I want to talk to you guys about a common topic in Python, which is the difference between tuples and lists. So remember, a list is basically doing the same thing. A list, if we wanted to create a list, we would just use square brackets instead of those parentheses. And if I was using a list, I could assign different values to it. I could, I could basically mutate any of the elements. I could add, delete, uh, modify, change, whatever I wanted with the list. But with a tuple, we can't do that. And that's sort of the basic difference. And really, Python doesn't say anything more than that. It basically just says like one of them's immutable, one of them's not. But in practical use cases, generally, people will use tuples for data that's never going to change. So you'll, you'll store data inside of a tuple when that data doesn't need to be mutated. That's why something like coordinates is such a good candidate for a tuple because once you have coordinates, like we're probably not going to modify them, right? We might add other coordinates. So for example, if I wanted, I could create a list of tuples. So I could say like four, five, six, seven, maybe we have some other coordinates like 80, 34. So here I have, in a, I have a list and inside of it, we have these tuples. Um, but remember, these tuples can't be modified. The values can't be changed. So Really, it's just a case by case basis. I would say by a huge majority, you're going to be using lists most of the time. Um, tuples are more of a niche, you know, they're used in more special situations. 
Um, but it, there are plenty of situations where you want to use tuples. So if you're in a situation where you want to store data that can't be changed or mutated, um, then tuples are the way to go. So yeah, that's just some basics about tuples, some basics about the difference between lists and tuples. And so a tuple is a great thing to add into your Python repertoire. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.